Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Genie. Now you might be stuck on a blue screen that says your device or PC ran into a problem and need to restart. Now this problem can come on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And if I talk about the major cause, so it can be recently installed Windows Update or any kind of application or software or if you have connected any new hardware to your computer, then this kind of blue screen problem can come up. There can be many other reasons like Windows issues. So that's what we will be fixing and I'm very sure by the end of this video, you will be getting the solution. So without any delay, let's quickly get started. Now what I am expecting that you are on a blue screen. So you will have to start the computer in the advanced option. So in order to start the laptop or PC in the advanced option, what you will have to do, you need to forcefully shut down your computer by pressing and holding the power button. Once the computer get turned off, Again, you have to turn it on and as soon as you see the windows logo or the manufacturer logo, again, you need to press and hold the power button forcefully and shut it down. You need to repeat the same steps for three times and then finally you will be getting a screen of please wait and then it will give you a blue screen with the advanced option. So once you come on this screen, you will have to click on troubleshoot, then click on advanced option. And here you will find an option of a startup setting. So you will have to click on it. Then you have to click on restart. And now you will find the startup setting page. So basically we will have to start the computer in the safe mode. So if you have a look here, it says enable safe mode that is on number four. So from your keyboard, you have to press the number four key. And the computer will now be coming up in the safe mode. So now it might ask you for the password. So enter the password so that you can go in the safe mode. And you will be getting this kind of a screen of safe mode. Now here we can perform few troubleshooting steps. So now here you have to bring up the file explorer. And then from the left hand menu option, you will find this PC, make a right click on it. Then click on properties. And here is scroll down. And you will find advanced system setting. Click on it. The system properties box will be up. Now here at the bottom, you will find the startup and recovery option. So click on settings. And here you will find automatically restart option, which will be checked. So you need to uncheck this option. Then you have to click on OK. And then click on OK again. And now next click on your Windows search. Type control. Then from the suggestion, you have to click on control panel. In the control panel, you have to look for programs and feature. Click on it. Now here you have to look for the application that you have currently installed. So on the right hand side, you can see the date. And according to the date, look for the application that you think that you have recently installed. And then only you are having this kind of problem. Okay, as I said, the problem can be also because of any kind of application or software that you have recently installed. So what you can do, any application that you have installed recently, go ahead and uninstall it. Once you are done, from the left-hand menu, you will find View Installed Update. Click on it. And this will list you the recently installed Windows Update. So whichever is the latest one, you will find the uninstall option. You will have to click on it. Then click on uninstall again and wait until this update has been uninstalled. So once it gets uninstalled, you have to close everything. And now you simply have to restart the computer in the normal mode. So now this time we will check if the issue has been resolved or not. But in case if this doesn't work for you, then you will have to start the computer again in the advanced option. So you can use the same steps forcefully shutting down the computer for three times and then finally it will give you this kind of a uh, blue screen that says continue use a device troubleshoot so again here you have to click on troubleshoot click on advanced option and this time here you have to click on the startup repair option so click on it let it get repaired and see that if this fix the problem in case if the startup repair also doesn't work then again you will have to come to the same option and this time you will have to click on command prompt. Now here we have to run few command and all the command you will be getting in the description. So the first command will be chk dsk space forward slash f space forward slash r space 
then you have to type the drive letter of your windows where your windows has been installed the majority of the time it drive c so i will type c then type colon and then hit the enter key so now this will be scanning the system disk and if there is any kind of problem it will try to fix it so now this can take some time like five minutes sometimes it take more than that or less than that so whatever time it take you will have to wait here and in case if you are using a laptop make sure that you are connected with the charger so let's wait until the command is completed okay so this command is completed so the last command will be sfc space forward slash scan now again hit the enter key now this will take about a minute time so we will wait until this is 100 percent completed all right so finally this command is also completed and it says windows resource protection found correct file and successfully repaired them so there was some issues which has been repaired now so finally you have to type exit and then click on continue and now check back i'm very sure that your problem will now be fixed but in case unluckily if it's still the issue has not been fixed then the final solution that you have is to restore your computer to the previous date when the computer was working fine so again you have to follow the same steps to come to this advanced option forcefully shutting down the computer for three times then once you come up here again you have to click on troubleshoot click on advanced option then you will find the system restore option click on it and if you have created any kind of restore point it will be displayed over here you will have to select the date when the computer was working fine and then you have to click on next next and finish so the computer will now be restoring back to that particular date when the computer was working fine so this is the final solution in case if nothing work for you so that's all guys for today hopefully this complete list of solution will surely help you to get rid of the blue screen problem on your windows 10 and windows 11 and if you found this video helpful do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye